So we're going to try to have a little bit of fun with Tarzan, which is a recent 2016 adaptation, of course, of the classical mythic and literary property, which very briefly is basically just a white man in the jungle who screams a lot, very physically powerful, and has a kind of lover slash companion in Jane. And his iconic thing is, me, Tarzan, you, Jane. And that's about it. He just has adventures in the jungle. And there we are. And it's been adapted quite a few times now. The 2016 adaptation is probably no better or worse, really, at the end of the day. But boy, I gotta tell you, I don't know if we can legitimately consider this one of the worst films of all time, but it is so insanely sluggish and boring and just unexciting and uncreative. It really is in a category all its own. Now, this is just a problem with most Hollywood productions. But if you wonder why Fantastic Beasts or some of the Harry Potter is not as powerful or as good as it should be, I would probably say the director is a big thing. I'm sure Yates is a good person and a nice person on a personal level, but as a director, he just seems to have remarkably very little style. I mean, with Tarzan, there is some things going on with cinematography, like they're changing colors here and there, but it's basically very, very one note. So what's occurring? Well, basically, Jane gets kidnapped and Tarzan has to save her. There's, there's, I guess the frame story is that he's out of the jungle. He's become civilized. It's about him returning to Africa and getting in touch with his roots. And so he has to meet his old companions and confront his old past and all that kind of stuff. He's like, okay, I guess. I mean, some of the stuff is very impressive. Like the CGI apes were pretty amazing. They were very seamlessly done. So a lot of special effects are very competent. But a lot of the other special effects are very like, ooh, Oof, you can see so much of the green screen. You can just guess how many of the scenes are not occurring on location. And it's like this one scene in particular when he does some swinging, it was really jarring. I mean, I could really tell very far away, like, whoa, 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 this looks way too fake. So some of the special effects are well done, but some of them are just like, oof, they needed a lot more work. And there's really not much for Tarzan to do because... The villain in this case is Christoph Waltz, who's just this very bland imperialist. He apparently wants to destroy Africa because, you know, he wants to destroy Africa. And he kidnaps Jane because he wants Tarzan to confront him because he wants Tarzan to confront him. It's just so ridiculously, like, plain and simple and nothing is really going on. It's, like, very robotic. Christoph Waltz is doing the villain part. Samuel L. Jackson is doing the lovable sidekick slash other person who does one-liners when he needs to. And the one-liner is actually pretty funny, and they get back to it a couple times. I thought that was fine, but really, everyone's just playing their role. Margot Robbie is the sexy, but very agentic damsel in distress who has her own mind. It is very independent, and Arthur's head is the noble savage, and blah, blah, blah. It's just running through every cliche. I mean, even if you're a child, you're going to be like, is that it? This is getting kind of boring. But I do have to give them a lot of points because they are very sincere. And the producers were upfront about this, saying that they weren't really expecting this to be a big hit in North America or even Europe. Because they were like, yeah, nobody really takes this stuff seriously. This is just really stupid and juvenile. And nobody's really going to care. But Tarzan has a name, right? It has a big brand. So hopefully overseas people will be gullible or naive enough to be like, oh, this is a kind of silly, fun adventure story. But it didn't work out. It made no money. And tragically, one of the producers who really worked hard getting it to the big screen died. So it's kind of like, okay, uh, you know, it's sincere. They're not trying to be offensive to anybody. Uh, yeah, Tarzan is leading a group of Africans in a couple of scenes, but you know, that's about it. They clearly make, they make clear over and over again that they're being trying to be respectful to the history of Africa. But this is basically straight up fantasy. This has nothing to do with Africa in any real sense or even with a jungle adventure. I mean, there's no realism here, really. It's just he just jumps around, shows off his muscles. There's one intriguing scene when he confronts one of his ape brothers because they grew up with the apes, so he knows them. He loses badly. I hope that's not a spoiler because I was like, ooh, are they going to let him win in this one? It's like, no, nah, he loses badly. So they do allow some realism in here and there, but it's just, it's just very dull in plotting, even as an action movie. You just hope... Because you know what's going to happen. Of course, Tarzan and his animals are just going to come in at the last minute and just destroy everything and save Jane. And you're like, okay, I saw where they were going to go a mile away. But even when it happens, you're like, this is kind of like not very exciting. It just felt like very plain. Again, because you just know everything's CGI. So it's like, okay, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you're like, all right, is that it? What, is this? Is it over? Uh, is anything more going to happen? Again, there's just so little subtext, so little metaphor. At least the other entries were, they just embraced the sheer silliness of the whole thing. And we were like, you know what? 
We're not even going to try for realism. We're just going to be stupid and silly. Just have fun with it. It's over. But this one is trying so hard to set up a franchise and be somewhat serious and be sort of, I guess, exploit Star Wars, you know, whatever market or Star Trek or whatever. But it's like, it's just not working. I mean, they just don't seem to know enough about an actual kind of pirate or jungle genre fantasy. So it just feels like, mm, it just feels like people are just like, well, we've got a script. We got name stars. We've got the location set up. So there you go. But I will say this. There was one intriguing little scene with a hippopotamus. I won't say what happened, but that was genuinely scary. That was like really, really frightening. And I, even though I knew the hippopotamus was fake, the hippopotamus was really scary. So they do have a few shots that kind of hint at what they could have done, which would be genuinely exciting, at least interesting for a while. But there's not much to say about this. It's like, you know, it's a sincere attempt to reprise an old icon, cash in on it, and give it the Hollywood treatment, but it is just like, mm, it is so dull and unexciting. And I realize some people may have some political issues with it, but really, there's not enough here to be outraged at that angle. It is more offensive just at the cultural level, just being so remarkably dull and stupid and inane and just insulting to the audience. Just not even action-packed. There's really just Christoph Waltz and one other scene. That's it. Of Tarzan taking on some odd African man who's dressed with claws. And you're like, why? Okay, uh-huh. And it's not even a good fight scene, so it's like, <sighs> it's just like, oof, there's not much here. So, it's really something you want to see just to laugh at it, really. Which is kind of cruel, because I'm sure the lead actors really did a lot to physically train themselves, but uh, other than that, being impressed by their dedication to the physical role, it's not much here, really. So, there you are, Tarzan. It's a laughable little effort. You kind of feel sorry for everyone involved, but it is what it is. Worst of all time, I don't know. It's such a borderline case. I probably legitimately give it a 4 out of 10. It's okay enough that you're never completely bored and the story goes along just fine. But yeah, I don't know if you... I think this is more of this. You would just put it in to laugh at it and not really enjoy it on its own level. At least I did not. All right, this has been a review of Darzan, the 2016 would-be classic. Thanks for listening.